Okay, in this video I just want to solve a problem using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So here's the problem. And it says, barbituric acid is a parent compound of the barbitary drugs used as sedatives and anticonvulsive drugs. To be absorbed in the bloodstream, it must pass through the membrane lining, the stomach and small intestine. Electrically neutral molecules can pass through the membrane more easily than charged molecules. Barbituric acid has a Ka of 9.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. At a pH of 3.5, what percentage of barbituric is pertinated and what percentage is depertinated? Okay, so the first thing I like to do is write down the information we have and the equation I'm going to be using. So, the Henderson-Hasselbeck equation says the pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of the concentration of depertinated barbituric and pertinated. Now we also know that the Ka is equal to 9.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And we also know that this is happening at a pH equal to 3.5. So that's pretty much the information we have right now. And uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to find the pKa. So there's an equation that says the pKa is equal to the negative log of the Ka. So we have the Ka, all we have to do is plug in so pKa is equal to the negative log of 9.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And when you do that on your calculator, you're going to find out that that comes out to about 4. So the pKa is equal to 4. So now we pretty much have everything we need to start working with the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So we'll do that and we'll, do, we'll start with some algebra to um, isolate the terms we want, which is the concentration of the depertinated and, and the concentration of the pertinated. So to do that, we'll say pH minus the pKa is equal to the log of A minus over HA. Now from here we need to take the inverse log of both sides. So inverse log of this side and that leaves us with just A minus over HA. So from here we can actually plug a few numbers in. So inverse log of the pH which is 3.5 minus the pKa which is 4 gives us the inverse log of negative 0.5. So when you plug that in your calculator you're going to get about 0.316. So 0 0.316 is equal to the concentration of depertinated over pertinated. So now that we have that, we can actually do some more algebra here because we know that the total percentage of pertinated and depertinated is going to be 100%. So we can say HA plus A minus is equal to 100. And from there, we can solve for one of the variables. So I'll solve for A minus is equal to 100 minus HA. Now, I can substitute that into the equation over here on the left. And I can say 0 0.316 is equal to 100 minus HA all over HA. 
Now from here again, it's just going to be more algebra. I'm just going to do some more algebra. And we're going to solve for HA. So 0 0.316 HA is equal to 100 minus HA. Now I can add HA to both sides. I get 1.316 HA is equal to 100. So divide both sides by 1.316 and I get HA is equal to 75.98 and that's our percentage right there so the percentage of protonated barbituric is going to be 75.98 percent now in order to get the percentage of deprotonated barbituric uh, that's just going to be plugging into this equation so the percentage of deprotonated is equal to 100 minus the 75.98 that we got from the protonated form and that gives us roughly 24.02 percent. So that's pretty much the entire problem right there. We're going to wind up with 24.02 percent of deprotonated barbituric and 75.98 percent of protonated. Now just to check this to say well does this make sense or does it not make sense all you have to do is say okay it's at pH 3.5 which is lower than the pKa. So that means that you're most likely going to have, in this case, more protonated than deprotonated because it's more acidic. So that's all I wanted to say. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. Thanks.